Tonight, people in a Durham neighborhood want answers after two young children were injured in an overnight shooting. This all happening on McNeil Lane in Franklin Village. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer live with details from police and reaction from those who live nearby. Zach. Yeah, Angela, we're right near that home. And actually, I want to show you right over my left shoulder. You could see here in the second floor window what looks like bullet holes here through this home. We actually talked with a woman who lives next door who did not want to identify herself. She told me that she heard all of this while with her grandkids inside next door. She also told me she's concerned seeing a lot of kids out and about around this neighborhood. Meanwhile, another woman who lives in this neighborhood told us that she just wants something done to make the violence go away. It was so many shots that was going on, you just didn't know what to do. This woman living on McNeil Lane in Durham recalls what she heard while with her grandchildren around 12.30 Monday morning. I heard something sounded like it was a hammering, and when, it, when I came to my senses, I realized that it was gunshots. Police found an 8-year-old girl shot in the back and an 11-year-old boy with an injury to his arm cut by debris, both inside this home next door. According to a search warrant, witnesses saw two men getting out of a light-colored SUV nearby, firing towards the apartment. The warrant also states officers found three dozen shell casings nearby. This woman next door showed us what she believes are gunshots in her door and wall outside. We just got to get back to feeling safe again. Put the guns down, please. These are babes that's getting shot up and sucked. Cheryl Smith has called Franklin Village home for 11 years, but now she says she's leaving the neighborhood. For her, gun violence is personal. I done lost a child against gun violence, so I don't want it to happen to nobody else. I have grandbabies and a little girl that I'm adopting now. I don't want to raise my babies around just shooting. These children should be able to come outside and enjoy life. She hopes to not hear anything like this again as she continues to stand up against the violence. I won't recommend nobody to move in Durham or in this community right now until things change. We need to protect your children or you're going to be like me. Your child your child going to be six foot long up there in um, Greenview Cemetery. And police say the injuries to both children appear to be non-life-threatening. We don't know if this was random or targeted or if it may be gang-related. Officials at Durham Police say investigators are working to determine a motive for this shooting. Now, if you have any information as far as what happened here on McNeil Lane, you're asked to call Durham Police or Crime Stoppers. Live in Durham, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.